What's this all about? You're going to find out right now. Hey, it's Joe from Stay Fit Anywhere, where I help you move pain-free, feel amazing, so you can live your best life. Well, today is going to be a, a great episode. Today is a review on this product called the Rub Ball. Uh, so the Rub Ball actually reached out to me and they wanted me to test one of their uh, newer versions of their product. Uh, I guess like they've had an old version before. Uh, I've never really heard of them, but uh, they reached out and I said, yeah, why not, right? Because I'm always about helping you guys relieve any kind of pains in your muscles or your joints. And one of the things besides doing mobility uh, exercises, I use different tools Have you seen, right? I've used my uh, percussion massage gun, a peanut tool, a lacrosse ball. But today I'm gonna try out this vibrating massage ball. Vibrating massage ball. So this is the rub ball. It's got a little bit of weight to it, right? They, they claim it's around 2.2 pounds and uh, it, it feels like between two, three, four pounds to me. And this is the size of the ball. So I guess an earlier version, it was closer to a size of a lacrosse ball, but this is a lacrosse ball. So you can see the difference, right? How much bigger this one is. So I did take this for a spin for a couple of days just to kind of get the feel for how this actually will use in a, you know, in a real setting. I did some uh, massaging for the upper body around my shoulders, pecs, uh, even my uh, triceps, and obviously my lower body, right into my hips, you know, my uh, hamstrings, the quads, the hip flexors, the IT area, the IT band area. So a lot of different places where usually your joint pains and muscle pains happen. So getting back to the rub ball, this was actually a very unique tool, right? And I actually found this to be quite helpful in terms of in addition to what I was already doing and using. So I'm not gonna compare the massage gun to this for this video. I will do a comparison of which one I feel was a bit better in terms of self massage and self care. But today it's all about the rub ball. This thing, uh, very handy, you know, it's very portable as you can see, fits in your hand. Holding it like this, you know, you can actually get a workout in because it's got a little bit of weight to it. Uh, this, it claims about two hour charge. So just an adapter in the back, it comes with an adapter. This also comes in two colors, the black and the turquoise kind of color here I got. You know, I decided to go for the turquoise just because everything else I own is black and hey, it's time to be different and a little bit of color in your life is always good. So some of the features you can find on their site, they also claim that this does about 4,200 RPMs. Say my, my massage gun only goes up to about 3,200 RPM. So this actually has a good kick to it. And I was really surprised too. Um, I didn't actually know this had three levels. Uh, until I started playing around with it. So very easy to turn on once it's all charged, just hold the button down, right? The lights light up and this is just your charge meter. And then to get to the first, first vibration, press. I don't know if you can hear that. And it's also not very noisy, which is also really convenient because if you can hear me talking right now, that's about as loud as this gets. And then second, the third. So if you can hear that, I can still have a good conversation and you should be able to still hear me. You might pick up some of the vibration along with this one, but for the most part, it's similar to my percussion massage gun. And you press it again and everything turns off. So the price of this comes in at about 129 US. It's not cheap, but I guess it's comparable to massage guns. Um, they also did give me a promo code for you guys. So if you did decide to pick one of these up, you can save yourself 10 bucks, all right? So I'll leave the code down below. It's a stay fit 10. So you can get that and then try it out for yourself. This ball also feels like it's built pretty solid. I don't know for sure, right? Cause I don't feel like dropping this on the cement or anything, but I don't think it's gonna do too much to it. Uh, cause I've been rolling on this pretty hard on all different surfaces. I would hazard a guess that if I was using this against the wall at the third level on drywall, 
it could probably do a little bit of damage. So I would watch that. And for me, I don't feel like trying it, but you know, there's your warning. Uh, I've tried it on kind of uh, hardwood floors. It does make a huge vibrating impact. I also put it on to uh, a foam mat and that seems to be better. And, but they do recommend doing it on carpet or like a mat of some kind. I have carpet downstairs and um, I've been using this on carpet a lot more than anywhere else. One of the best features about this is once you turn it on, it just vibrates and you can go about doing your own self rolling. And with this being a massage ball, you can basically roll it anywhere and it's easier to get to than the massage gun. So I do find myself using this quite often. So a few things I like about this is it's portable, it's small, it feels heavy duty so it doesn't feel like it's going to break on you. It's got tons of power to help with those stubborn knots that's creating your joint pains. It's very easy to use so if you've been foam rolling or using your lacrosse ball or tennis ball to break down knots, it's the same, exactly the same idea. Uh, so you're doing using it the same way, but it's got the additional feature of that vibration. A few things that I found that weren't as great with this. One main thing is this power button, where it's located. Uh, if you're rolling it on something soft, carpet, or even if you put your body on top of this, because it's a depressed button and you're a little bit squishy with your skin, you know, and your muscles. If you push that in as you're rolling it or you're sitting on top of it, it'll turn off, right? Because that's how you turn it off too. You just hold it for about three seconds and it goes off. And so that was a little bit annoying because I'd be rolling, rolling, doing some really good uh, massage work and I found the right place. And then once you roll onto it, it also turn off. So that wasn't great. Uh, and same thing with carpet. If all of a sudden this was on the carpet and I was on top, you know, it's pushing up against there and it would turn off. The other thing I wasn't quite sure about this massage ball is the claim that it is uh, it lasts two hours. It might last two hours on level one, right? But if you're using you know, level two or level three, which I've been trying to use more of, I don't think it actually lasts that long because I charged it up and it takes a couple of hours to charge it. And then, and I just remember only using it like a handful of times and I, I need to charge it again because the lighting indicator was saying that it was getting low. So that I wasn't quite sure if it actually will hold the charge on level three for two hours, but it probably will on level one. So I just know that you might have to charge this more frequently. And the last thing is as much as I like this heavy dutiness of the ball, I found it to be for myself and my own liking, a little bit too big, right? Because I'm used to using a lacrosse ball, but that's my own bias, right? Because because I'm used to using this, now using this, it's like quite a size difference. So trying to get on top of certain areas um, using this ball was a little bit more difficult. I like to try to get into my upper traps and to break down some of the scar tissue and the knots. And I found this was a bit more difficult to get on top of because of the size. And saying that, I did get it to work. It took a little bit more effort. Maybe it wasn't as, as acute as, the, as a lacrosse ball because it's smaller, so it kind of pinpoints a little bit better. But, you know, it did the job just fine, right? Um, but those are just a, like a few of the criticisms I have of this ball. Other than that, Everything about this ball was pretty fantastic because it did its job, right? It helped loosen the scar tissue that I had, break down some of the knots, um, loosen some of the muscles after any kind of exercise to help with muscle soreness. So all those things that I've been always talking to you guys about um, how to prevent and relieve muscle and joint pain. It's making sure you're doing mobility work, your self-care, your strength exercises, and your flexibility. If you're looking for a tool to help with your mobility routine, to help you prevent pain or relieve pain in your joints or your muscles, this is a pretty decent tool to get. If you do decide to pick it up, save yourself 10 bucks. I've got a code just for you guys down below. If you have any questions about this vibrating massage ball, 
leave it in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna do a comparison with this vibrating massage ball and the percussion massage gun. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you know when that video comes out. For now, check out this video for full body mobility routine.